Have you ever eaten at the Catfish Queen? Laws. I mean, it's fucking laws. atrocious. How about the laws I swear to God. God. I think they just Mix deep fried up a dead rat and threw it on a plate. Of course says otherwise. Uh. Got a handsome cash over for safekeeping. I'm in the French war. Hold your horses. I'll get to you. What can I take off your hands? Keep this safe. <laughs> on my way. Call me if you need Comment me. Mm -hmm. Got him. Back me up here. I'll smoke you, the house of me. And I'm your host. How y'all doing? Got a good show for y'all. So just stop trying to just your radio. No! It ain't broke. Back half of the program, we'll be playing some fine music you're gonna dig. But before we get there, let's flip over to the other side of the world. Vietnam, Vietnam. God damn. Vietnam. The Vietnam War rages on. And here, we talking about the black men killed there. But I tell you what, New Bordeaux, don't fucking kid yourself. Ain't just about black men, is it? Hell no. Plenty of death to go round to the poor folk, too. You ain't got shit. And son, you get shit on. Meanwhile, the politicians glad hand the widows and orphans. Give speeches about the nobility of war. Stay in the battlefield is where the warriors should meet his end. <laughs> As if they have any fucking clue. And you know what I say? Go fuck yourself. The nobility is dying with your face down and being the beast mud. Doesn't fucking exist. Now we told by the white news and the white government that this war is about oh. fighting communism. What? Hey huh? there, precious. <laughs> Got some intel on Twinkle Toes Tommy. Hop in when you're ready. Tommy Marcano brought in a counterfeiter from Cuba, right? Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. The color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of him. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay! I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man. A fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy. You understand? This thing falls apart. We fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here. This ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the plate. He's gonna come after him. You understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah. Sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck-ups. <sighs> fuck me. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcee Bennett. Alcee is a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. If he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Alcee's by the briar patch, not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello. See how he's getting along. When Army <laughs> shut down Have fun. The war, I think folks just figured something new would come up in its place. Nothing did, though. We prefer but our I own. think something's <laughs> gonna you? break soon for the white working folks in this town. You can't tell me. Breaking new Bordeaux news. 
There are reports that a fierce gun battle took place earlier today at the Anderson Bay Lighthouse in the bayou. Witnesses report extended gunfire, and police are investigating casualties. Police have announced that an investigation is underway. <laughs> well, fuck me running. If it ain't Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, I'll see. Mm, I heard about Sammy Nellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Let's go. I'm taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? Lead the way. You know I've stayed away. I ain't stepped foot in the hollow since November of 62. Almost six years. I know. Can you at least tell me where we're going? The Acadia. It's where Tommy Marcano holds his jungle fights, right? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him? I have. Good. Because I want in. What? Why? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think he wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years banished from the only place I ever called home. Christ, I couldn't even go see my mama on her deathbed. You made your choice. And now it's time to make another one. And I do this. You get a clean slate. Come and go through the hollow as you please. Fuck. Okay. I hear if you win out, Tommy meets you in person. That true? He likes the size of the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they're just a one-time deal. Where's this happen? Usually up there in his office. One of his guys will meet you in the locker room after the fight. He'll take you to Tommy. All right. Fighters don't take the front entrance. We go in through the side door. Yeah, and he was late again this morning. I tell you what, that paper boy ain't getting a tip this week. your brother and take him out. Show him a good time. Hold up, Alcee. Who the fuck's this? This? This is Jack Knapp Johnson. What's he here for? Fuck you mean, what he here for? We here to fight, boy. Gotta search him. No weapons allowed. Do what you gotta do. Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. Go ahead. Locker room's down here on the E. I don't Bloody trust no one. Floor. Hang back. Know boy. what I'm saying? Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. How you, Neville? Where you at, Al C? All right. 
I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, Elsie? New guy. New guy looks tough. My money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, Elsie. What's that? Do all you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> nah. So what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fighting niggas. Through here. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The next challenger to face Nick Boom Boom Beaumont comes in at over six feet tall, weighing approximately 220 pounds. This is Jackknife Johnson! Kick the piss out of him! Knock his teeth in! Dead brother here! Just had to start something. Mother... Ah! Ah, ah. I want to see blood. Yeah. Ah. 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 Knuckle up, asshole. Ah. 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 We have a winner. That's it, that's it. Show me the love. Our next fighter hails from Buckley Mills. You'll know him as Bobby Ledoux, the beautiful Brawler. Boom Boom was a paper bag compared to the Brawler. You gotta keep moving and don't let him get you in the corner. Stay out of the corner. Got it. Buries motherfuckers? Well, yeah. So how do I beat him? You hit him really, really hard. That's it, kid. Let's go. What happens now? You head on back to the locker room and collect your winnings. Where are you heading? Me? I got business to attend to. You niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I'm 
Never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. I'll mix some vegetable oil in it. Makes the gasoline thick, sticky. We just don't let it soak in a little bit. Work his way into every nook and cranny. That way, when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. And you, you are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they burn, you'll be hit in the gut with a sickening revelation. Before you die, you gonna feel your peck up burn. It's gonna curl and twist as the flames consume it. The pain will be extraordinary. And you beg me to kill you. And you, you are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they burn, <coughs> you'll be hit in the gut with a sickening revelation. Before you die, you gonna feel your peck up burn. It's gonna curl and twist as the flames consume it. Pain will be extraordinary. And you beg me to kill you. And you, you are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they burn, you be hit in the gut with a sickening. Yeah! Ah! 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 Gonna hand you, pal. Fire! No! <laughs> <laughs> to do this. We can work something out. <laughs> so that's that then. Sure looks that way. You know Sal wanted me to go to law school. Wait for some big company. Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Should have listened to him. It's in the blood, you know. Yeah. You are who you are. No point in arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. Point. Please. Say hello to Lou. Tell him Sal will be along shortly. Your ass is fucked. 
This spade wants to play. I'm going first. Oh, 
found him. He's killing our fucking crew. Code three five. Suspicious person on foot. Responding unit investigating. <laughs> Sandra told me to reach out. I certainly appreciate some help with the phones. I'll be happy to take care of that for you. All units, negative visual on suspect. Repeat visual. What happened to the money plates that Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve? I don't recall. Langan once told me he couldn't tell any other cheat. That the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. But I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. Compassion is a sign of weakness, but greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die, for what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or a Bobby Kennedy, but there always gonna be another Sal Marcano, another Sammy Robinson, another Lincoln Clay. We are cruel and wicked people. This is it, pal. No reason to waste any more time. Where you landing on it? After all the lies and bullshit, it comes down to this moment right here. Are you the righteous, honorable motherfucker you claim to be? Or are you just like everybody else? Y'all should be proud of what we done here. We call the shots now. And where I land on who gets this turf will come to light in good time, Vito. But first, I want to hear from all y'all. If Skelet is a guy we need, then you should take care of him here. We'll deal with anything else as it comes. If you want my two cents, I'd shoot Scarlet in the face and piss on a shallow grave. No offense to you, Vito. You have just one choice here, Lincoln. Don't fuck this up. You give the Wop more territory, he's just gonna stick you later. You screw me over here, and we're done. We've come this far together, Lincoln. You know I'm old. Vito wants the territory? He can get on his knees and beg for it. Greco thought he had more brains than everyone else. Until they were splattered all over the floor of my chum shack. Gonna need Vito to run this turf. Thanks, kid. Spent most of my life getting fucked by one asshole or another. And what we got going here is a real future. Ain't no one fucking with us anytime soon. Kinda thought I'd be gay to shit by now. So anything shy of that, and I'm good. I'd prefer to be running more rackets. And by more, I mean all of them, but fuck it. I'll just wait for one of you motherfuckers to bite it. <laughs> Holy Christ! How the fuck did we make it through this shite in one piece? I thought for certain Scarletta would have his throat slit by now. 
You did a bang-up job here, lad. A goddamn dream come true. Can't wait to see where we go from here. I, I have wait figured Lincoln would have killed us all by now. What we done here? Taking the city away from Marcana and doing it without killing each other? We gotta be proud of that. I'll admit it. I had my doubts, but no more. You came through just as you promised. And I'm lucky to be a part of it. We're living proof that the ways of Marcano, the lying, the backstabbing, the cheating, don't need to run in that direction. Those ways are as dead as he is. Need someone to get this cash out in the bike. I'm running low on all kinds of shit. Can you help me out in the bayou? Be out directly. What can I take Keep off this your safe. hands? Okay, I'm you good to go. You want something? You let me know. Let me see what you got. Don't... I'm out of here. 